Meet Arnold. And he seems to be absolutely not set up for shooting new episodes. Get up, doofwad. Bad weather doesn't justify taking a day off. What, you don't want to go to work? Then I suggest you work in bed. When NASA was studying how zero gravity impacts a person, they paid $18,000 to a volunteer to lie in a bed for 70 days. Just don't even think about getting up, Arnie. I hired a sniper who will terminate you at your very first try. You will eat, drink, and do everything else while lying down. See ya, buddy. Hey, did you get any sleep? How are you doing? I guess not so cool. It looks like you're gaining weight. All the energy that comes from the food you eat isn't going anywhere. But bed sores, that's bad. Due to high blood pressure, blood stops flowing to the skin. Hold on, old sport. Good news, Arnold. You're close to the record set by Soviet scientists. 370 days in bed. Yeah, you don't look so hot. Every day, you're losing 5% of your muscle mass. On top of that, your bones are also damaged. And due to your lack of mobility, your bones don't repair and they quickly start deteriorating. And paradoxically, falling asleep lying down becomes impossible. Without a shift in activity, the brain doesn't know what time of day it is or when it's time to sleep. But this does have its perks. You can watch all your favorite shows over and over again. I'll leave you here now. Enjoy the show, Arnold. Oh my god, Arnold! What did you do to yourself? Can I come in? Ooh, I see you've decided to create a real tropical paradise for yourself. Don't you think the palm tree from the living room is a bit much? All right, here's some more food, drinks, and new friends. Rubber duckies! Have fun, Arnold. How about some beneficial bubbles? Hydro massage can mimic physical exercise such as squats, pull-ups, and push-ups. When vibrating, the muscle fibers contract, thereby increasing in volume. And in just 30 days, they'll reach their maximum strength and endurance level. You, Arnold, oh, lady. Easy one will definitely like it. Arnold, this is the first time I've seen you so happy. I suggest we continue the experiment. I'm gonna lock you in the bath for 30 days, but on one condition. I'm turning off the water and leaving you just the food you have right now. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have eaten so much. If you don't get out of the bath for 30 days, apart from bacterial skin infections and your nails peeling, you'll have two options. Either complete dehydration and the loss of 1.3 gallons of water, or hyperhydration, when your body gets much more water than necessary, and when which leads to swelling of the brain. Arnold, you're consuming food and water at an alarming rate. Surprisingly, due to your prolonged immersion in water, your skin will become dry and cracked, and it'll become really easy to get a skin infection in such dirty old water. Just one thing, Arnold, please, don't look at your hand. To spend 30 days in a bath sipping cocktails, your skin needs to be more like a seal's. After all, they have 20% more subcutaneous fat than humans, which provides excellent waterproofing and protection. But now as a carrier of intestinal parasites dangerous for humans, you're unlikely to be welcome to such a party. Arnold, you really don't resemble a seal at all and are completely unsuited for aquatic life. But on the other hand, your bathroom is now a paradise for plants. Your palm tree has bloomed. Mushrooms are growing on the ceiling and it seems that somehow wheat has sprouted from your toilet. You have nothing to eat or drink. No, please, Arnold, don't tell me you're planning to drink that water. It's full of gunk and microbes in your hair. Yuck. Don't say I didn't warn you, Arnold. Arnold, you could sleep through your whole life. Get up already. People sleep for one third of their lives. During sleep, the body is restoring. Some species of birds, marine mammals, and reptiles can stay awake for up to 10 days. One half of their brain is asleep while the other one is working. 
In order not to waste time, streamer Asian Andy slept online and earned $16,000 in one night from donations. I think someone's breaking into your house, Arnold. Wake up! Arnold, who are these guys? They don't seem anything like your friends. Congratulations, Arnie. Somehow you've gotten yourself into what looks like pretty big trouble. Again. What the jumping Jiminy is this place? Looks like a college dormitory at not the best university. Wow, Arnold. Looks like you could be a superstar in a new reality series. How on earth did they get a file on all of you guys? Whoopsie daisy, I guess they got you here by mistake. What do they want from all of you? Uh-oh, I don't like this at all. Arnold, haven't you been able to sleep? A day without sleep leads to headaches. Your hearing becomes noisy and difficult. And your memory becomes impaired. Believe that on average, a person can endure no more than five days without sleep. That's when the real oh. test begins. Oh. Optical and oh. begin to appear. The first to set a no sleep world record was 17 year old Randy Gardner, who stayed up for 11 days. But this was later beaten by Robert McDonald, who stayed awake for 19 days. But the representatives of the Guinness Book didn't confirm it. And conducting such kind of experiments on yourself is quite dangerous for your health. You're the only one left, Arnie old pal. I'm reminded of one legend about Soviet scientists. They put five people in a room for 15 days with a stimulant gas that kept them all awake. Arnold, you're free! I can imagine you probably want to go home and have a good night's sleep. But it seems that you need 30 more days without sleep to get to the nearest town. Well, good luck, Arnold. Arnie, old buddy, old pal, you're in luck. Doctors have managed to improve your sense of smell by transplanting onto you a dog's nose. Of course, you need to get used to it first. But hey, now you don't even need to use a filter in Snapchat. A dog's sense of smell is a hundred or even a thousand times better than a human's. And a doggy nose can smell a smell at a distance of one kilometer from its source. With a dog nose, you can even determine a person's physiological and emotional state. However, it's better not to fool around with cleaning products. The smells of vinegar, ammonia, and chlorine are especially unpleasant for a dog's nose. Whoopsie daisy, Arnold, I think you better run away. Pretty cool, yeah? Dogs are macrosomes, meaning they actually live in a world of smells. For them, their sense of smell is like vision for us. So it's not that bad to have a dog's sense of smell, is it, Arnie? One milliliter of water contains 3.35 times 10 to the 22nd power molecules. A dog's sense of smell can detect among all those molecules a single chosen molecule of a substance. So with such a nose, you can always find the most delicious pizza. Or pretend to be a psychic and find people for money or even get a job as a king's bodyguard. But wait, instead you're buying a lottery ticket again? Wait, listen, Elon has a program for this. Everything we need is already waiting for us on the big red planet, and we fly immediately while the window between Earth and Mars is still open. You ready? Okay then, fasten your seatbelts and three, two, one, go! Although it's a really long flight, I promise you won't get bored. It's a meteor cluster, Arnie. Look out! They can damage the shuttle! Quickly, get to the cargo hold. It's the only place that can protect you. By the way, we're in a closed, sealed, unventilated area, and there's not much oxygen left, so try to save it. Perhaps, for the first time in a long time, you're truly lucky, Arnold.
But alas, with you, it's all in vain. Legumes contain a lot of sucrose, which isn't digested in our stomachs. The most harmful types of sucrose lead to bloating. They're called raffinose, stachyose, and verbiscose. When they enter your intestines, bacteria begin to produce huge amounts of gas. So now you have to breathe your own farts. Serves you right, you moron. Come on, it's not so bad, Arnie. Breathe your fart. Reaction with hydrogen sulfide can prevent mitochondrial cell damage. That makes it possible to prevent the development of diseases such as arthritis, heart disease, and even and stroke. So breathe deeply, Arnold. It's actually healthy. Well, I really didn't think you'd make it this far, buddy, but you're doing great. Really? Hey, buddy, I thought I'd do something nice. I saved a suit for you. Nice. Skip it about the Careful, Arnold. Wind speeds on Mars can reach up to 100 meters a second. That's fast. Finally, some decent food. Open it quick. Let's see what's inside. Beans. Beans again. And again. And what's that there? What does it say? Hello, champion. I hope you have enough of this supply of healthy and very nutritious beans to wait until the next ship arrives. We'll send it when Mars and Earth next pass as close as possible to each other in about two years. Good luck! Did you know you're participating in a secret experiment to control dreams? Our brain is a supercomputer that works even when we sleep. When you run in a dream, the areas responsible for movement are also active. The same is true with visual images and the visual cortex. These areas are active during real events, which is why dreams feel like reality. But it's just a dream, Arnie. Reality is different. It can be harsh. What's going on? Unfortunately, Arnold, the experiment is not going as planned. Now it's not a dream. It's a nightmare. Being eaten by a homeless dude is not the nicest death, even in a dream. Oh, you woke up. Or did you? In a dream, time passes differently. Due to your slower heartbeat, your body uses less energy, but your brain works at the same speed. Perception of time also depends on the type of dream. You can live a lifetime in a dream, but in reality, only a few minutes will have passed. Hmm, why is everything so weird? Maybe Tagai can tell you. Ah, I see, you're in a lucid dream. This is a state when the body is asleep, but the psyche isn't. You can achieve lucid dreaming through long training and discipline, or you can use psilocybin. Athletes use lucid dreams to practice movements without getting injuries, and they can even be used to cure phobias. Have you ever had a lucid dream? Tell us in the comments. Exiting a lucid dream is more difficult than entering it. Today, you're in Area 51, and now you're gonna be teleported. Let me explain how teleportation works. Particles A and B are quantumly entangled. This means they can interact faster than the speed of light. If you scan particle C and its interaction with A, then B can be turned into C. Now, all that remains is to scan the seven octillion atoms in your body and recreate them on the other side of the Earth. Here we go. Phew! It worked! Or maybe not. According to the hypothesis, all neurons on Earth have two possible life cycles. 1% of neurons can transition from one world to another, becoming a mirror neuron. So, Arnie, buddy, you've ended up in a parallel universe. There were no pandemics here. Space technology has developed super quickly and provoked an alien attack. And I thought our 2023 was the worst. Sorry, Arnold. Nothing can save you now. Except for artificial intelligence, which also decided to take over the world on the sly. Hurry, Arnold! Grab the portal gun! It can take you home! Arnold, no, that's not your universe! Right at the most interesting moment.
Hmm. It'd probably be cool if, when life seemed too difficult, you could choose an easier mode. Here, you need fear neither scary stuff nor hunger. But it's really not that interesting. Let's choose survival mode. Now we have to act like in real life. Find food, build a house, defend yourself, and gain experience. Of course, it's much easier to do it in the game. With just one pickaxe, you can cut down a tree that will hang in the air, and you can get stoned by just breaking it for a few seconds. A day here lasts just 20 minutes, and even your pitiful, pixelated face can get someone's attention. You can eat as much fast food as you want, and you won't get fat. That's a plus. You'll always be comfortable any time of the year, and you don't even have to buy clothes. And you can use a cactus in your house instead of a trash can. It can make any object disappear. If you're bored, you can rename a sheep, and it will shimmer in different colors. And yes, here, you can just meet a sheep on the street. Don't forget, it's Minecraft. Time to go home. Oh yeah, I forgot, it's easy to get your house stolen or destroyed. Looks like game over. Welcome back to reality, Arnie, old buddy, old pal. Look, no one destroyed your house. But while you were playing, you did get robbed. Bye-bye, Arnold.